Hello beautiful people, it's Sherry Moulton back with another video. We are going to do resin coasters today. I, my name is Sherry, I'm an addict. <laughs> I was shopping again. <laughs> this time I was on Amazon and I purchased some, let me just find a book, um, coasters from Let's Resin. It is the four coasters and the um, coaster holder. So I was excited to try that and I also ordered, I'm gonna try, I'm trying to go all, get rid of all my paper and plastics with mixing. So I purchased this OXO. Now this is really nice. It's the same, it's the same company where I got my um, omelet spatula. Now there was a lady that I was, I've been watching um, for a couple years now in um, Florida. And I think it's Expression Studio, and that's where I found this. She was using it, and it's like amazing. So I thought I'd uh, I seen this one, and it's a four cup. So that's pretty cool. It has um, like a honeycomb, so it's it's nice for you to grasp. And I liked it because it was a bigger size. You can do um, one one kilo or four cups. So that's cool. The only thing now I need to do is get a two cup one because I have all kinds of one cups. I have all kinds of half cups, but I'd like a two cup because you tend to do a lot of um, eight ounce and to mix the eight ounce in here, it's, I find there's not enough room to mix it. So anyways, so we're going to do Petri. I've never done anything with my alcohol inks in the resin. So, um, I thought I would do some um, petri dishes in these. So that's kind of cool. So with that, I'm going to mix my resin and we'll come back when I'm all mixed. And as par for usual, we're gonna go through this every time. I'm using my mask. I have my Dyson air purifier on and I am using this when I'm mixing. When I do my video, I'm choosing not to wear the mask so that I can um, explain to you all lovely people what I'm doing. But please, please follow your um, health regulations on your resins. Most of them, I'm gonna say 100% of them, ask you to wear a respirator. So please do that just to keep yourself healthy and safe. And I'll be right back after we're done mixing. Hello, we are all mixed up with my resin, my resin of choice is crystal resin it is american made but it is supplied here in canada out of toronto ontario it is free shipping and it is on sale right now so i'll link that in the description box and i'll go through my alcohol inks i'm going to use i am using these are all pinata this one is magenta senorita very pretty. This one is sun bright yellow pinata. This one is baja blue, baja blue. This one is blue violet. And this little bugger I was having problems with. This is pinata white. Would not come out of the bottle. I have two bottles. I tried both. Oh my goodness. Um, I was not impressed at all. Um, so this is take two. I, <laughs> I leave the same intro, but this is take two. Oh my goodness. Um, I went upstairs and gave my family a 10 minute warning. I'm going to do a video, you know, but that didn't matter because that's all I heard during the video. So I was getting frustrated with that. Then the white was not working. I couldn't, it would not work right. And then I decided to put casting craft to see what it would do. And look at this, do not put casting craft. Look, it is still wet, hilarious. So I have two good coasters. <laughs> and then I went to, um, I put everything in my mold and I went to torch. Did it not start fire? This is after I stopped filming. So it just proceeded to go on. <laughs> so I waited till the, I could unmold, I cleaned my molds out and I'll show you the two 
two good ones. So this is what the um, the coaster holder looked like. It's kind of cool. Now there's some bubbles in here, but I've heated up my resin again, and it's really, really clear right now. So this is one coaster. I've never done this Petri dish stuff, so this is actually flipping amazing. I think it's kind of cool. So this was one, and this is another. So they turned out actually really awesome. And they stack nicely into here. My two coasters, because I'm not putting those two in here. So anyways, we are going to attempt this again. And what I did is I put my, my, I have bought these intending to put my inks in them, but they come out more or less really good, except for the white. So I put the white in it and it's a fine tipped little needle. Oops, I'm sorry. You're out of the frame. Fine tipped little needle. So it'll work. So now I have cleaned my resin, my molds again. I'm going to make sure we're on the tray. And there we go. Um, my mold is stained from the ink, but that's, I'm pretty sure, will be fine. So here we go. Round the. Look at that, how clear that resin looks. Oh, I'm impressed. Actually, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to set this up here. I'm going to give it just a quick little torch while it's in here. Get rid of the bubbles that are on the top. And here we go. I measured these out. These were an ounce. This was two and a half. I mixed up eight ounces yesterday and I used all of it. So I mixed up 10. And I may have a little extra, and if that's the case, I've got a bunch of little things that I'm going to, I'll put it in. So, we are going to measure one ounce, and to avoid the bubbles, we're going to pour slowly. And you know what? I know I have enough. I'm just going to pour out of my cup into here. Less wastage. And I think you'll get less bubbles because I'm pouring from one container, not two. Awesome. I want it a little domed so you don't have that um, gosh awful rim to get rid of. Perfect. Well, maybe a little more in this one, a little more in that one. But we'll get the basics done. And in our big guy. Now, yesterday I was dumping ink down the side, so I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to get down so I can eye level so I can see. Perfect. Now I'm just going to pour a little bit more on each of these to give it that domed. good. I'll put more in this one. Sorry guys, this is going to be the tedious part of the video. Ooh, that one is stormed. <laughs> uh, maybe a little more in this one. And a tad in here. And you know what? I'm thinking 10 ounces. If you buy this kit, 10 ounces. Like, I've got minimal left. 
I'm not gonna pour it in there because it'll go overflowed. All right, now the fun begins. Do not, do not, do not, do not torch after the fact. I'm gonna give it a quick little, just, and I don't know, you can see there's some bubbles in there and I'm not at this stage of the game with round two, I'm not too worried. I am going to take all my lids off here. I thought I'd have a hard time finding lids, but eh, they're colored on the inside. So I'll just take them all off. And here we go. We're going to go. Oh, I'm excited. And then, oh my goodness, there's something in there already. Let me just get it out while I see it. Because I don't want to goof up my pattern. Alrighty. Here we go, my friends. We're going to go. One, two, three. Let's just, we'll do one coaster at a time. It's just cool how this chemistry works, eh? Just like crazy. And we'll do the blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, this, I can't believe the difference. I was swearing underneath my voice, just underneath my breath yesterday. Oh my goodness. Perfect. We're going to go blue first. We're going to go this way. We're going to go gonna go yellow. And we're going to go Come on, squeeze out. Oh my goodness, that's such a difference with this white. When it works, it's working. I love the colors, how the colors turned out. There we go. Now we'll start with blue. Pink. Yellow. And That do its thing, and oh my goodness, they're all, they're just domed, so perfect. I'm just gonna move these, separate these two because I don't wanna make, there, I wanna make sure there's no, they're not pushing against each other so that the coaster mold is um, different. Oh my goodness, these bubble guys, there's bubbles down in there, but you know what, I'm not, We will do five.
there. I think I am going to leave it at that, let it do its wonderful magic. I'll just put a little more there. And I'm impressed. This went painless. Oh my goodness. I was so stressed yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to give it a spritz with my alcohol 95% isoprofen alcohol. Do not use this. It will set yourself on fire because I thought for sure I was I was just petrified. I thought for sure that I ruined this mold cuz I mean the flame was like up to living Oh my goodness. I'm not doing that. Did you just see what happened there? We're going to leave it at that because spraying it is giving it a reaction as well. I am living and learning today, but I can see some really big bubbles here. So, oh my goodness, I'm just going to see if I can pop them because I can see a couple big ones and I don't want it to make sure there's nothing on my stick. Come on, baby. And they're not popping. Okay, we have a couple in the bottom, so I'm hoping it's on the bottom. So with that being said, I'm excited now because this is, I think it's gonna turn out really awesome. I'm a color girl, as you know. This, the vibrancy of the colors is just, I'm impressed, you know, so I'm hoping they still stay the same. So with that being said, I am going to put my little trusty dusty food tent on top. We're going to get rid of this out of the way. I'm going to open up my food tent and we will see you guys when we are dry. <gasps> I'm excited. Oops. Ooh, that's touching. There. Perfect. See you guys in a bit. Hello, we're back. They're set up. I'm gonna unmold. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. They look so cool. Now this one, like I said, there's a few air bubbles, but I wasn't torching it because I did not want it to start a fire like it did the earlier one. <laughs> it was like, oh my goodness. Uh. Wow. In there, good. <gasps> I'm impressed. I may have to just fix that a little bit. It got bent in the mold. I should have left a little longer. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is flipping amazing. Why have I not played with my alcohol ink before? That is cool. I'm just gonna. I might just put that back in the mold just. Because, there we go. I don't want it to, we'll leave it out for a minute. Uh, I'm excited. The rich colors on the back, I'm just amazed. You ready? One, two, three, here we go. Oh my goodness, sorry, I gotta look at it. That is just stunning. I am, that's crazy. Oh my goodness, then look at the side. I don't know if you can see. That is cool. Oh my goodness. This one I did right. This one is really nice and domed. I can't believe the color, the vibrancy of the colors. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can demold this one. I can't get at the, here, let's get this one. There we go. Again, that's just the colors. 
excited. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be doing more of these. Like that is crazy. So that's the top side. And then ready? Underneath. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. That is just the three, oh, like right here, that purple, that is crazy. Craziness. I'm just gonna set it like that. There we go, this one. I'm a color girl, so I'm just, I'm impressed that the color is so vibrant. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be pulling out my camera and taking some micro pictures. I have a nice um, digital camera. Oh my goodness, why does this not? I domed it, but I might have went over it too, too much. I'm hard, having a hard time getting the edge of the coaster. Oh, there we go. <gasps> We've got it. I domed it too much. And now there's a lip the other way. <laughs> that is so funny. Now I've got a lip this way. Wow. That is amazing. That is just crazy. And then just look at the side. Like amazing. Well, Needless to say, and they fit all fit in here. Once the lip is off, I'll put that one there. And this one we'll put like that just because the lip. But that is a oh that's cool. Look at the you can see through all of the, the dimensionals. I'm gonna pull them all out because they're quite not quite. Oh my goodness, now they're stuck. Bad decision. Bad decision. All right, I'm gonna put this guy back in its mold. Maybe I can redo it. He's good, okay. These guys are not going anywhere. With that being said, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my alcohol ink experiment. And, um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that bell over there somewhere so you get notifications on my next video. And if you like what you see, give it a share. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.